Uh, hi, uh, my name is Marco, and uh, I'm going to show you guys how to run a road tree and how to configure a uh, DSP controller card for the road tree. And uh, there are two different kind of road tree. Uh, this one we call wheel type. You know, there's a four wheels here, so you put the object on top of the wheels. Uh, and there's another one we call truck type. So. On this one, you put uh, something like a wood, like a rock, a lighter piece, and you put it in the center of the road tree, and then you lock it up with the, the uh, tablet, and then with the truck. But uh, for this one, you just simply put something like a wine bottle or, or, or a cylinder, cylinder cone object on top of the wheel. And I'm going to show you guys uh, how to do it. Okay, today I'm going to use the wheel type road tree to uh, run the demo instead of the, the uh, truck type and I will do the, the, other, the other road tree the ne next time, all right? Um, this one, we put a uh, three-phase motor. You can put two-phase motor uh, up to you, it, it really doesn't matter. And uh, for two-phase motor, you see that there's a, a connector with uh, three points. And and I'm going to show it on our this machine legend uh, because we already configured the legend to have the four axles to support the road tree. And as you may see, there's a connector built in on the gantry over here on the base. So we just need to simply snap this connector to the pub and the and the this machine is ready to go. All right, let me set it up. See, there's a connector, there's a three points. You just simply snap it in and lock up the cap. And that's all we need to do for now. Okay, and then we uh, align the, the road tree horizontally and try your best to make it straight. Um, uh, usually, I'm using uh, eyesight, you know, I'm trying to find a reference point here use the base or use the, the bar, the rocket, and then use it to try to match the a, a line from behind or, or, or the exit entry. So I will get pretty good alignment in that case. Okay, after I hook it up to here, uh, next thing I need to do is, on the controller card, this is a DSP T9, and this is my favorite controller card because I work closely with the programmer in, in China, and they custom make this controller card for us. Uh, I tried two different other controller cards, like a Trison, uh, Trison, right? you guys call Trison, uh, and also the, the other one is a Raider controller card, but I like T9 better, the reason, because uh, uh, and when I enable the, the road tree, I still can control the wipe movement. But the X7, you can't. The radar controller car, uh, they don't have the four axles um, to control, to, to, I mean, to dedicate for the, for the road tree. We have to disconnect the wipe uh, and then uh, hook up another motor driver on, on the wipe. And after you use it, then you have to disconnect it. So it's a little bit uh, annoying or tedious to do it. But with the T9, we can just and I mean press a button, and you can enable the road tree and ready to go. All right. Okay, I'm going to set up the T9 for road tree. So it is pretty simple. Uh, we hit the menu over here, and then we use the the arrow down button to go to uh, Z and U setting here enter i'm um, sorry i uh, pressed the wrong way um let's go get so we go to c to c and z and u setting hit enter and it's going down to here and enable it so going down here and hit enter and after that just hit skip and it's ready uh after Rotary is check, so we are going to test drive. Uh, it's pretty simple. We are dedicate the rotary for the U drive. So there's a U plus and U minus. 
when I press U drive, it's going one direction. Oh. When I press U minus, it goes to the other direction. All right. And the next step uh, I would need to do is um, I need to lower down the Z table. And today I'm going to use a 2141 for my sample, for my uh, demonstration. Uh, so I'm going to lay this bottle, the wine bottle, on top of the row tree. All right. Uh, but you can tell this the, the, the wine is way over than the laser head, so it's not going to work, right? So what can we do for the uh, legend? This machine we have a built-in power Z table. So now take a look. When I press it down, the Z table is going down. As you can see, that there's a red dot. Uh, for this machine, we do have a beam combiner built in. So the red dot is will combine with the CO2 laser beam. And, and, and so you can see clear to target uh, where to start the laser head. So I'm now moving my laser head on top of my uh, wine. So I need to using, uh, I need to use uh, the Z to control the focus, or I can just control or set the focus point by using the, the laser tube here. All right. And then I'm using a, a calibrator. We make it easier for our tech to do demonstration for our customer. So we have a one side for cutting, I mean, uh, for, for engraving and one side for cutting. They're different. So I just pull it right here, lock it down, touch it, and lock it down the knob here. So for engraving, we want the focus point uh, uh, to be precise on the surface. Uh, but for cutting, we need to change the focus point and I will show you guys uh, on next video. Okay, let's open the application, the light object. And I already pre, uh, have a file set, set up for the rotary job. So I'm just pull out and it is a butterfly and our brand because I'm going to make a label for the wine. So I set up something like those. Um, before we enable, I mean, before we use the road shoot, there's one more setting we have to do. We have to click setting. And over here, there's a U axis. And we need to and choose what kind of rotary we want to use. Uh, as I mentioned before, there are two different kinds of rotaries. One is a jaw type, the, the cramp, and the other one is a uh, wheels type. So, on this particular video, we are uh, demonstrating the four wheel rotary type. So I just pick up this one and the gear ratio. Actually, this is supposed to be for to the jaw type. So when I click four wheel, it will show the gear diameter. What it means is um, it is the uh, 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 diameter of the object to be engraved, all right? And I measure it is about 70 mm. I mean, the wine bottle is a roughly, the diameter is 70 millimeter. Before, uh, there's one more setting uh, that we need to, to check before we enable to use the rotary. It's about the pulse unit we call UM. So we click the button over here. And since we are using um, the, the, the wheel type, so the setting will be a little bit different. So over here, it asked me to motor drive fine. Actually, this is a, a little bit confused to, to, to put down fine. What does it mean? Actually, what they mean is the micro stepping. Um, the micro stepping is, uh, is for the motor driver dedicated for the rotary. And I, I set up to 4,000. So with uh, 4,000 over here, 
I put the micro stepping 4,000. And then what's this one? This is gear ratio. Uh, if let's go, go back to, to the road tree. You see that there's a big wheel over here and there's a motor. The motor, there's a gear. Is, and the ratio between these big wheels and the small gear is a one to two. So in, in that matter, we have to put down two over here. So what happened if you put down the wrong version, I mean, I mean it's the wrong number here. Um, the problem you will face is when you try to, let's say when you try to uh, cut out a square, like 20 mm by 20 mm, you will end up 20 mm by maybe 10 mm or maybe 30 mm. Uh, it depends the ratio. Uh, so this number is pretty important when you want to roll tree. All right. So after this one done, we need to save parameter and it will ask us for the password. So it will save the information to the system. Now it's ready to go. So over here, I got two different layers. This one is for engraving. As you can see, I enable the, the paint to be engraved. I'm using 550 for the engraving. And because I'm putting a uh, 100 watt laser tube over here, and the label that I use is a thermotype, so I'm not going to use too much power. Uh, 7.3 would be good enough to for this uh, demonstration pur uh, purpose. So I'm going to put on 7.3% for the power and 550 for the speed during engraving. For the cutting, actually, we are doing an outline here. We are actually not, uh, not cutting something. We just outline the butterfly and the logo, the light object. So uh, for road tree, for this kind of road tree, I don't think it, we should go too fast on the speed. So I suggest to use 40 or 30. So I put down 40. And again, I use, I'm using a lower power. Uh, there's two power settings, the work power and the corner power. What is uh, the work power? Me it means when the laser head is running a straight line long enough to pick up the speed. Uh, that's why we use higher power. But for the corner, means when the laser head is a turning angle. So because the, the laser head is going slower, right? So we have to lower the power. Otherwise, the corner will be overburned. That's why there's, there are two settings on uh, cutting. But on engraving, there's only one setting for the power because the laser head is going to do like a dot metric printer, left, right, left, right, left, right, all right? So we have only one power setting for the engraving, okay? Now after that, then we click download and put the name and, and I enable the uh, uh, path uh, automate optimized path option. What it does is, when you click it, it will start, take, it will start to, because to, we want to start the job from in to out, and also it pauses the layer uh, uh, by preferences. For example, I want to do the engrave first. That's why the system, uh, the reason is because after you cut and you do the engraving, you may lose some detail because the, the object will be shaking during uh, uh, cutting. So we always want to do engrave first and then do the cutting after. So I enable the option optimal path and then click download. When you hear the beep, that means it's ready to go. Okay, we are going to hit the press, the start key.
As you can see that uh, the LO, the logo didn't really stand out. So I'm going to redo engraving on this part. So what I can do is, uh, and uh, on the software, I can just disable the cutting area, this layer, dis disable it, and just enable uh, the, the engraving part. So double click it, I'm, I'm going to increase the power by a little bit more, maybe 7.75. And click OK and then click download again. So let's we do again the engraving part. This is all for today, and uh, I will try to do uh, another road trip on next video. So thank you for watching, and have a good one.